Hey guys, welcome back to our Easter lesson. Today is day four, Thursday, April the 9th, and we're going to be talking about nails and a sign. In the story of Jesus up to this point, Jesus has you know, been betrayed by his disciple Judas, has gone on trial, has been tortured, whipped, made to carry a cross, and now we find him at the place where he would be nailed to the cross. Uh, the Bible calls it Golgotha, which means the skull, but it was just a hill on the outside of town. And here Jesus is with his cross, and the first object that we have are nails. The nails would have been a lot bigger than this. Think more of like railroad nails that would go into a railroad tie. They would have been large, and they would have been driven into Jesus's. Uh, the Bible says hands, but most likely wrists, and they nailed him to the cross. And then the Bible says that they threw dice to divide his clothes between them, and the soldiers stayed there to guard him. Uh, it's crazy to think that as Jesus is being nailed to the cross, there are people off to the side playing a game to see who gets to keep his clothing. And then on the cross above him, they placed a sign, and the sign read, This is the King of the Jews. And they put this sign on to mock him. They said if he was really the king of the Jews, if he was really God, then surely he could get himself off of the cross. But it was also a sign to any other Jewish people. It was a sign that if they didn't follow the laws of Rome, that this is what they could expect as well. But what was interesting about this is that Jesus had followed the laws of Rome, and as a matter of fact, he followed all the laws. He hadn't broken any law he was completely innocent, and yet he was put on the cross anyway. So today I would recommend that you go through your devotional that you got, answer some of the questions, and think about what it must have been like for Jesus and the people who were there to witness it to be nailed to a cross as people were playing a game to get his clothing, and to know that they put up this sign to mock him as the king of the Jews, even though he was innocent and he had never done anything wrong. I'll see you guys again tomorrow for our next lesson.